Peggy 12. Amenadrash is a well-rounded support hero. His ranged attacks and healing abilities give him great survivability with both a full group or with a smaller band of teammates. Chance of Vengeance. Jedras and Dying Legions. Use Caps Desiccation. Sockmets Devour. Unlocking Masteries adds a layer of depth to your hero and your gameplay options. There are thousands of possible loadout combinations. Here are two suggestions. Eternal Legions increases the healing power of Jedra's Undying Legions. Vigor increases maximum hit points by 100. And after healing a certain amount of hit points, the Divine Shielding perk provides massive damage absorbing shields and heals all groupmates. This loadout gives Amenadresh and his groupmates an even greater defensive stance Amenadresh's own Usekep's Wrath increases the chance for Usekep's Desiccation to critically hit. Felicia's Bloodbath increases the chance of dealing extra damage on every hit. Alwyn's Fling Explosives knocks down and deals moderate harm to all enemies around a targeted area. This loadout brings offensive power, drawing targets and doling out more team kills. Like all heroes, Amenadresh's Mastery Tree contains masteries that may be shared with any hero you own. For Amenadresh, let's look at Divine Shielding and Endless Knowledge. Divine Shielding provides your entire group both damage absorbing shields and hit point regeneration, making it great for all healers such as Glogob. Endless Knowledge reduces all ability cooldowns by 10%, good for just about everyone, especially Nethys and Felicia. Our Lich Priest Amenadresh is a pure magic damage caster with both offensive and defensive capabilities, making him an effective support hero. His Synergy Prolonged makes his abilities last longer per Tomb King hero in his group. Targeting Felicia, I use Jaff's Curse, dealing damage and racking up the kill. I cast Usekep's Desiccation, dealing damage over time to Glogov as well as the enemies around him. Then I use Sockmet's Devouring on Bats, doing high damage and follow up with Jaff's Curse, dealing low damage and negating his armor. Now I'm hitting Owen with Chain of Vengeance, dealing medium damage. I cast Jedra's Undying Legions, restoring hit points over time to myself and nearby allies. I help finish off Ayesa with Usekep's Desiccation. I'm using the tactic Eternal Legions, making my Undying Legions heal for more. I use Jaff's Curse on a Menadresh, helping Ikrik to finish him off. Jedra's Undying Legions helps my team to heal back up. Then I'm knocked down by Bax. When I'm no longer disabled, I use Usekep's Desiccation and Jaff's Curse. Jaff's Curse really helps my team to quickly kill Bax. Now I'm using Chan of Vengeance on Olwen, dealing extra area damage for every third cast. It doesn't take long for my team to finish Olwen off either. Unfortunately, our flag has been uncapped and we can no longer take the artifact. We start to head back towards the eastern flag. I see the orange team grouped up and I pause, waiting for the rest of my teammates before heading down to the fight. I decide to target Ayesa and move so that I'm within range of her. I lead with Jaff's Curse, negating her armor, then use Jedra's Undying Legions, healing myself and my teammates. I've unlocked the perk Divine Shielding, which would both shield and heal my allies. Knowing what we find, I decide to save this for later. I'm using Chain of Vengeance repeatedly and use Jaff's Curse as it comes off cooldown. With this, I help to finish off the remaining enemies. Amenadresh is able to both strengthen allies and unleash devastating curses upon his foes, showing all the true power of the desert. <laughs>